Hello everyone and welcome to this new video where I'll be presenting the Camera 3D Toolkit plugin. This is a plugin that allows you to create automatic animations in After Effects. So without further delay, let me explain and show you an example. Getting started. When you arrive here after downloading the plugin, you need to go to Windows Extensions and you find Camera 3D Toolkit here. Click on it and it will open the window displaying Camera 3D Toolkit. As you can see, this plugin is completely responsive. For example, we can reduce the window size and we can also dock it here which will display everything properly. So this is a plugin that's very user friendly if I may say so because you're free to do whatever you want with the Camera 3D Toolkit window. Plugin interface overview. Let me explain each part of this plugin. You can see that this plugin is divided into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sections. Here's the creation section, which allows you to create cameras, nose, parent cameras, and more. Creation section. First, in this menu section that allows you to create cameras, we have several buttons. Quick button allows us to create nulls, cameras, and automatically parent the null to the camera. It also puts layers in 3D mode. Custom button. If you hover your cursor over the button, it displays tooltip messages that help you understand what each button does. This one allows you to create a camera, then a null, then a controller that lets you parent the null to the camera. Info button. This button allows you to display information about the plugin. This section allows us to create setups quickly. Practical example. Let me try an example. I have several layers on my timeline that are currently selected. What I'm going to do is first click on the quick button. Watch carefully. You'll see that it automatically puts the different layers in 3D mode. There we go. I click and you can see it puts all the layers in 3D, spaces the layers 1000 pixels apart on the Z axis, creates a camera and also creates a null object, then parents the null to the camera. That's what this button does. Spacing controls. Of course, you can select the different layers to adjust the spacing between them. For example, on the Z axis or X axis, you can see if I move the slider a bit, it automatically creates spacing based on the number of pixels you choose. You can choose whatever number you want. For example, I can choose 5000. You'll see it's 5000. I can choose 500. You see, I can also choose to space the different layers on the Y axis. No need to go elsewhere to space them manually. Just use these sliders to automatically space the different layers in a very precise and professional manner. Random spacing. Random spacing. Here's a button called random that allows us to automatically space layers in a random manner. For example, I'll click on random here and you'll see it allows us to increase the spacing. You can see here, it lets me, we can do this, we can arrange them completely randomly. Because when I click on random, you can see here, it allows us to space them with an angle. For example, I'll click, you see it rotates the layers at random angles completely randomly. Animation section. Now let me explain this animation section. First I'll increase the window size because it's quite small here. Now, I'll go here to do what we call auto animations. In the animation section, we have several buttons. You should know that this plugin acts like a real camera in real life. You know there are several types of camera movements. There's pan, there's tilt, and there are also traveling movements. Camera movements. Let me take an example with you. What you need to do is first select the null. I'll go here first. You can see here that there are several buttons. Pan movement, creates panoramic movement, tilt movement, creates tilt movement, roll movement, creates roll movement, traveling movements. These are traveling movements, vertical traveling up, vertical traveling down, horizontal traveling left and right, forward and backward movements. We also have sliders that allow us to create movements precisely. For example, if I click on this button, which is the traveling pan movement, you'll see it creates a panoramic movement of about 25 degrees. Let me first press U to display the keyframes. You can see here that
clear that keyframes are displayed about two seconds apart. Why two seconds? Because this controller here controls the timing between different movements. For example, if I set the controller to four, you'll see the movements will be spaced four seconds apart, custom movements. I can use the slider to make a panoramic movement of, for example, about 90 degrees. Panoramic control ranges from zero to 360 degrees. If I wanna make a 90 degree movement, you'll see I'll add 90 and it automatically creates that movement. Then I can make a roll movement of say 45 degrees. You just need to apply it and it will display the movement. You can see here when I move the playhead, it automatically adds keyframes according to the automatic function, creating smooth camera movements. Target movement feature. Let me show you another example. I'll delete the keyframes to show you something else. I'll delete the camera and reset. I'll click quick again to set up automatically so you can understand how this works. You can see here, if I make a movement, you can see it moves smoothly. You see it creates fluid movement with automatic keyframes in a very smooth manner. The target function. After that, we can choose a movement, but the thing I love most about this plugin is the target movement feature. Let me explain how it works. For example, I have layer four here. Let's say I want the camera to automatically move toward layer four. What I need to do is simply click on that layer, then click on target here. You see the camera will automatically move toward layer four. Of course, we can display the keyframes. If I want the camera to move to a layer 4 again, I click on layer 4, I click on target, and it automatically creates keyframes. You see it automatically move to a layer 4. I can choose layer 4. For example, I click on target, and it will automatically display that layer. Now you see the complete animation with beautiful parallax movement. You can see that we can do many, many things with this smooth motion would overlap now you can see here that the movement isn't very fluid you see it's jerky to make it appear much smoother we can use overlap movement to do this you simply select the no then click on what's called overlap when i click on overlap you see what happens it creates automatic overlaps where each no follows its predecessor as if each one controls a movement you see each keyframe is offset by about 15 frames from the other. Now there will be extremely fluid movement without the camera stopping. You see it's much smoother. Focus and depth of field. Obviously we can use the focus feature here. You see it allows us to create focus distances and blur. It allows us to create depth of field and configure the depth of field parameters. For example, here, when we click on the blur slider, it allows us to play with the depth of field. You see everything becomes completely blurred. We can play with these two sliders to decrease or increase the blur. You see here, when we play with this, it decreases or increases the blur, then it becomes sharp. You see that when it approaches, it automatically becomes sharp, then it automatically becomes blurred, while the others become blurred. You see it's extremely interesting very professional and technical opacity effects now there's a second button called opacity this is for opacity what this does is decrease or increase the opacity of layers based on their distance from the camera and rotate you see that despite the rotation the camera will rotate completely just to be able to face the selected layers first i'll click on a layer then I'll click on target to send it to this place completely. It's extraordinary. Now I'll click on another layer. Then I click on target. You'll see it will rotate so that the camera is exactly facing the selected layer. I'll look, this creates very fluid movement. After that, you need to add motion blur, which you can see here. You need to activate motion blur, but I haven't activated it, so the movement isn't jerky because it takes a lot of resources. Now I'll activate the blur. You'll see what happens when we activate blur. It creates some blur. The other layers that aren't close to the camera have become very blurred. 
Let me explain what opacity does. Opacity allows us to decrease or increase the opacity of selected layers based on their distance from the camera. First, we select the different layers we want to apply opacity to. Then we click on opacity. You'll see it will completely change the opacity of the layers. You see it automatically decreases. You can see that layers disappear, but when you animate, you'll see that the layers are still there, even if they're not visible. Ladies and gentlemen, let me show you this section called Speed and Shake. Let me explain what this Speed and Shake section does. This is one of the most important sections of this plugin. When you get here, you can choose different presets you want. There are many. There are many behind normal ones. You can choose what you want. You do it like this and click on the no. Then you apply. You'll see it creates camera shake movement. You can increase or decrease the frequency. For example, I'll apply it right away. You'll see it increases automatically. For example, we can decrease the frequency, I'll apply it. You'll see the frequency is the number of shakes per second. The amplitude is the intensity at which the layers shake. Now I'll delete all these layers and take another example to demonstrate how this section works. Let me quickly take this example to explain the speed and shake section. I want to animate this map. For example, it's very simple. I'll first click on quick. After that, you just click on the map. Then we simply move to where we want to go. For example, to the United States. Then we click on target. You'll see how we can move again via target. We want to go here to Niger. We click on target. You'll see that in just a few seconds, we managed to animate a map. After doing that, you need to click on, I should remember, then you simply click on SR. Then you click on trace. If you want to add a trace, you'll see we can change the color of the trace. For example, I'll choose a white color. You'll see, it's very interesting that with one click, you manage to animate. You can also play with the depth of you can also play with the depth of field simply to make sure that things that aren't close to the camera are a bit blurred. You'll see that in just a few seconds, we can do many things with this plugin. It's about $59. The plugin is available now and you'll find the link here. In a week, it will be $89, I believe. But for now, I'm giving you the plugin for $59. Thank you for watching the video and tell me what you thought. Did you like the video? I'll see you soon. Thank you.